is the Major League Baseball. It is the Major League Baseball weekend festivities. All-Star weekend oh, look festivities. That. Oh, look at I that. I can't think of a better way I can't to think of a better way to start up with the Dave Matt Dave Dave Matt Floor Jancic, and this guy. And this guy. See, I mean, when you can have this. As this. part of your webcast, as part of your I webcast, mean, really, what else I do you mean, need? Really, what I else? Mean, do you need? I, I think. I, I mean, mean, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I mean, you literally. Yeah, you. I mean, you this is setting the high bar. This is setting the high bar. We can't beat it. We can't beat it. We can't beat it. The mascots are the mascots. One little part of what's going on here at Play Ball Park. One little part of what's going on here at Play Ball Park. Slugger, just slugger, just slugger. We can take a selfie. We can take a selfie here with Slugger. We can take a selfie here with Slugger. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. The Kansas uh, City Royals mascot. The City Royals mascot. Oh, 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 I was worried Slugger might take my phone. I was might take my phone. He was nice enough to get back. That's how you start. That's how you start a show, folks. That's how you start a show, folks. That's how you start a show, folks. Completely spontaneous, unplanned, and unplanned. That's what the play ball park That's is all about. That's what the play ball park is all about. 2019 of Major League Baseball All-Star Weekend Festivities. I can't weekend guarantee festivities. that Slugger will sit on your lap when you come down here. I can't guarantee so there are so many things for you to do and see while you're down here. And see while you're down here. Part of that here this week will also be talking special guests, former players. Who knows? Maybe maybe a couple more more photo maybe stop I don't know how to stop that. I don't know how to stop that. I don't know how you tie it. 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 I don't know how you tie Baseball mascots, fans, former players, mascots, former uh, other players, notables, uh, in the other notables of softball, in the worlds of softball, and, and, uh, women's and, professional and, uh, baseball. Women's it's professional really baseball. just a it's great really atmosphere. Just a great if you atmosphere. love baseball, if you love this baseball, is the place you need this to come. This is the place you need to come. At some point, either this weekend or next Monday, or next Monday, because it is a really special experience. Really special experience. Just and you just kind of take everybody through here. You are already through here. You are already around and been around here. Around and been around. Here and, here, here, and, and I think it's great here. And I think it's great here. And I think And that yeah. today, it's, it's an experience. It's all it's part an of baseball. It's, all and it's part why of I think baseball. people love baseball so much. It's why I think so people love baseball they also so love much. It because uh, they also love it because uh, players uh, like Carlos Baerga uh, uh, are part of the game. Thank you very much for joining us. Good to see Carlos. He'll be setting up in a second. It's part of baseball. 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 Like, times more I don't know we're how gonna many be times able to do this, more so we're going to be able to do yes. this. And so we had going. a great yes. time. And we had Indeed. a great time. Three-time All-Star. Three-time All-Star. We talked to you earlier this year. We talked to you earlier this year. It was so nice to see you. Carlos Baerga joining us here on stage. Carlos Baerga joining us here on stage. Carlos, great to see you. Great to have you as part of these festivities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I keep taking this opportunity to be part of this ambassador. To be part of this ambassador. Together we can love. Together we can love. Give Tommy Omar this guy. Give Tommy Omar. All the players, that is my the legend, all the players are going to be here. The legend. It's almost like a family reunion. It's almost like a of family sorts. reunion. Your teammates all come together. Your teammates all come together. You get together you get around uh, you get together events like this. Uh, How cool is it like to this? see some guys How cool is that maybe you haven't seen in a while and feel like you haven't missed a beat? It's always cool because we have the opportunity to play here for seven years. We play here for seven years. Every time we see each other, every time we see each other, after we retire, you know, it's a blessing. To see Omar, that I don't see that I see Kenny a lot because we. I see Kenny a lot of people stuff with, with the people a lot of people stuff with the But to see the other guys, but to see the other guys, it's very special. special. Do you? Still enjoy, still you know, enjoy talking you know, to fans talking about the, the stories. Fans because about everybody, the stories. everybody has because everybody Carlos Baerga Everybody has a Carlos They'll say, Baerga story. I was there. They'll say, I was at the stadium the night you hit a home run on both sides of the plate the same inning. Or I played the same inning. Or I was there when you guys clinched the division in 95. Did you still get a rush from talking to fans about the talking to fans about the legendary days? The legendary days. It's never over. And it's never over. Either because every time we're like a month and a half ago, we were going to go to the tournament. A month and a half ago, we were going to go to the tournament. We were going to go to the tournament. And we were going to go to the tournament.
boss, and everybody was talking boss, about this. They have one talking about this. They have you know that year in '95, you, you, you know that year in the World Series, you know in the World Series, you know in the World Series. He never get old, you know. He never get old. We have a special moment. I was saying yesterday to somebody. I was saying yesterday to somebody. The people don't realize. The people don't realize. The players watch the 1995 team. That 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 Number the team range. You got better numbers so than team range. So when you put together, so when you put like together, that, that's amazing. Like that. And that's line up, amazing. you know, and line up, you know, one year line up. That's one year line up. You have six guys in the whole thing. You have six guys in the whole thing. Not too many teams at that. Not too many teams at that. Don't sell yourself short either. Don't sell yourself short either. You were a heck of a hitter at the top of that lineup. You were a heck of a hitter at the top of that lineup. What was it like? What was it like? Kind of follow Kenny in the batting order. Kind of follow Kenny in the batting order. And then set the table when guys like Albert, when guys like Albert, Jim Tomei, and even you know Manny Ramirez in the later years. Manny Ramirez in the later years. Are coming yeah, up. What, what are you? Are you're thinking you're scoring every time you get on base, right? When, when, when you have a Kenny Lofton, you know you have the opportunity. You know you, know, you have the opportunity to run. This guy still second base. This guy still second base. Move it over. Omar Vizquel, move it over. I got the opportunity to bring it in. And then if I don't bring it in, we got Albert Bell behind me. We got Albert Bell behind me. No matter what we was gonna score, that's why we was gonna score. When you have a lineup, that you have Tim Tomey, Manny Ramirez, another guy Ramirez, another guy Hall of Famer too. Hall of Famer too. I say, almost seven. I say, you say, wow. You say, when you have. You know, Tommy when you have money hitting seven Tommy and eight, money hitting that means you eight. have a great line. That means well, you have a great line. That team line. was well, also defined that team because was also defined you guys were because never out of a game. You guys never out of a game. You, you know, might spot a Toronto Blue Jays, a seven nothing lead, and you come back and you beat them. I mean, you had so many walk-off victories that year. A lot of them that ended with home runs. A lot of them that ended with home runs. I mean, that offense was never out of it. No matter how much you might be down in the game. That's why we are blessed to have the fans that we have. We have four home games in a row. You know, sell out in, in Cleveland you know, out history. In, in Cleveland, you know, we watched the history. Now we, you know, we now Boston did it. Now we, after now Boston did it. But we watched the first off. one to do it. But we watched the first one to do it. The fans that year, never leave the ballpark. We was never leave the ballpark. We was losing in the eighth, eight, even in the ninth, in the eighth, four, five runs, in the ninth, and we come back. Runs, one day was Tommy, back. one day was Albert, one day was Tommy, so one day was Albert. Uh, you know, so Eddie Murray. You know, it you know, was Eddie Murray. You know, it was. It's hard to believe, but progressive it's hard to believe. Twenty five years old this year. Twenty five years old this year. There, when it was first there, being built, and then you got the play in it, and then you got the play in it. Some of the fondest memories you have of playing in the new ballpark. Well, in the new ballpark. Well, to playing uh, in there was to uh, playing in there the day was, that we uh, we, we, we put the flag up, we, we, we put the, the flag up. And and then, you know, uh, and then in that ballpark, uh, in that ballpark, we saw so many great moments. We saw so many there, great moments. You know, the record in there, you know, the uh, records. Uh, a thing like, like, uh, a thing like, like uh, 1995, 1995, that I never gonna forget year, about. You know, that the opening day, you know, that the opening day, we played 12 minutes. Day we played 12 minutes. Johnson was throwing up. Johnson was throwing up. Got the base hit. Got the base hit. Wayne Kirby came through with the base hit to win the game. That ballpark went crazy. That ballpark went crazy. That day was a magic day. Take over for us. Yeah, it was. A, it, yeah, it was. It awoke the baseball it fan in this the town. I mean, you, you obviously remember town. playing I mean, at the stadium. You obviously remember playing at the stadium. You obviously remember playing at the stadium. You obviously remember playing at the stadium. That was my favorite stadium. That was my favorite stadium. In my whole career, 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 my whole Remember that? Yeah, I, I, you remember I spent that? Seven days I, in I, I spent seven days in the hospital. They gave me the permission to go and hit. They gave me the permission to go and hit. To get two hundred hit, hundred run, two hundred hit, hundred run, twenty home runs. You know, twenty home runs. You know, they. You know, they, you were the first to take the first to take the first to do that. You were the first to take the first to do that. You know, so that ballpark got a lot of history. That ballpark got a lot of history. But it did, like you said, when. Like when you, you said, moved, went up to the when to you Jacobs moved Field, up now to the, of course, Field. Field, now of course, Progressive Field, because it was such a new experience for the fans, and because fans, and because they fans, fans, grew up, they kind of they grew up, they kind of grew up the core of, of players the core like yourself and Sandy and Albert, yourself and Sandy and Albert, Charlie Nagy, that, you know, Nagy, that part of the farm you know, system, part of the farm system together. That so all of a sudden you put them in this new ballpark, you put them in this new ballpark, and you're ready to win. It was just like a sea, a perfect storm that worked out. 
Go hard, 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 great job. Go hard, great job. Signing all the players. You know, all the young players. You know, for a multi-year contract. You know, for a year contract. You know, that we were going to be here for a couple of years. And when they start bringing Omar Fiskel, they bring Kenny Duffin. They bring Kenny Duffin. They bring 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 Duffin. They
excited to be here. Um, yeah, we're really excited to be here. You know, starting off uh, a couple of days, a week here, a couple of days, and excited to Cleveland, and you know, bring our greatest stars of the game here. Our greatest stars of the game. How much work goes How into much work just goes the planning and just the setting up and the for setting up Playball Park for, for an All Star game and in for an All Star game in the host Tons of planning and it's tons of planning and it certainly takes a village to put something together. It certainly does something together. It's a game All Star week and game All Star week. <laughs> I think it might take a There's a lot going on. And, and There's a lot going it's on. Not done alone, certainly, it's, it's not done alone. Obviously, the Cleveland Indians are a huge uh, partner with us in, in all, all, the all the efforts that we do. We do all the efforts this year with All Stars, as well as this year with All Stars, the city itself. So we're really grateful to be here. And really grateful that we were here in 1997. So excited to be back. I can remember in 1997. I can remember in 1997. There was an outreach to fans, but an outreach to fans. But it is not like this. It is all star. The All Star. These all star festivities, all star really has progressed. It really has progressed. Really progressed. I mean, you, really have, has progressed. Uh, I mean, you have from uh, everything the from game, the obviously, celebrity softball game, the whole celebrity derby, softball which is game, the whole derby, derby, which is feel like we've always, always had that, but feel like we've always had that. The concerts, the interactivity, the interactivity that a fan, baseball fan that ever wanted, baseball fan that ever wanted more is all part of exactly that's the greatest beauty of it. Exactly that's the greatest beauty of it. You know, our addition of bringing the game, our best players in the game, one place game during one summer. It's an opportunity for summer. For all it's an opportunity fans to for enjoy all some things to very different, enjoy something you know, depending on very different, what event they're you know, going to. So what event they're the going to. You know, so in addition to the three days at the ballpark, there's all these different ancillary events that fans can experience and enjoy. And there's a lot of there's different kinds of exhibits, different kinds of exhibits. Park inside the art of baseball right around the corner from us, right around the corner from us, hand drawings, just amazing talent that's being displayed over there. That's being displayed over there. Really nice auction items. Really nice auction items down the way. Uh, that's further down at the way here at, at the convention center. Really this together really does bring together generations of baseball fans. Of and, baseball and it hits a little bit of everybody. And it hits a little bit of the players you watch growing up. It hits the players you watch growing up. For my father's generation. For me too. Uh, some of the guys that I've seen uh, play that are now in the Hall of Fame. It really does. It really does. It really does. It explains what makes baseball great. It explains what makes baseball great. That generational love for the game. Absolutely. And that's the greatest joy that we have every summer. That's the greatest joy that we have every summer. You know, we're always playing the All-Star game. We're always city playing the All-Star game. It's something that we all look forward to every year. And, and there's certainly fans. Locally, that take advantage of that. Locally, certainly that take advantage of that. Travel around there's other fans that travel, travel around year to year. Just to just experience year to year. It is experience. I want to bring up something else. I want to bring up something else. That I was some of the kind of reading through. Your plate has been full. Besides the All-Star game. Besides the All-Star game. Festivities. But All-Star festivities. Fans know this. Fans know this a couple ago. What about a week or two ago? Major League Baseball kind of. Major League Baseball kind of took itself on the road. Took itself on the road. Across the London, pond, over to and London, had a series out there. And had a series uh, out kinda, there. Again, uh, to kind of reach baseball to reach to another to, to another to continent, another, another country, to another continent, another Britain. country. In terms How of Great did Britain. that go with the Yankees How and the Red Sox? How did that go with the Yankees and the Red Sox? It was great. It was actually just it was great. It was actually just a couple of days. So many of us came straight here. So many of us came straight here. Has the jet lag worn off yet? Has the jet lag worn off yet? Just keep going. It's all good. It was a great couple of days. It was a great couple of days. Positive feedback from both the Red Sox and the Yankees. The Red Sox and the Yankees. You know. It was the first time ever Major League Baseball was played in Europe. Uh, we had played in Europe. Packed crowds. Uh, we had days. Uh, the stadium held both days. The stadium held up 60,000. And he had some beautiful um, weather. He had some beautiful weather, too. It doesn't happen often in London. It was very warm on Saturday. It was very warm on Saturday. Perfect weather was dry. And that's perfect weather was dry. And that's certainly all you It was a great couple of days. And you know, fans really got to experience our great game. And it was important to us, too. And it was important to us, too. Keep in mind that we had 70% of the buyers of the tickets were local to the tickets were local to the UK. So we kept that in mind, but also kept that in mind, wanted to bring the flavor of wanted to bring the flavor of generally, but also generally aspects of Boston aspects of New York that they celebrate in 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 New York that they cel
in the field. Tens of thousands of fans stayed. Tens of thousands of fans stayed. Sort of just see him again. Do his little walk around the around the track and whatnot. And the track and whatnot. And you can't express how important that is to the player, but also to those fans. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. To you know, last and we year, forgot to the mention Indians last played, year in Indians yeah. Yeah. played in Puerto Rico. Talk about another epic series. Talk about another epic series. That was, there, I, for Indians there, fans, there, there could not have been a dry eye in the house of Francisco Lindor hit that ball. I mean, I can remember I was sitting on my couch and I had tears streaming down my face because I'm like, you know what, if there's ever a guy who deserved a hometown home run, it was Francisco Lindor. It was Francisco Lindor. Absolutely, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with our kids. I'm not sure if you're familiar with our creatives, but creative, but creative showed that uh, home run highlight in our in our home run highlight in our in our last year featuring awesome. Francisco That's and Francisco's awesome. been, Francisco been a great and Francisco's been not only the game generally but also the game generally but also week here so it's all really excited that he's on the really excited that he's on his efforts in being our all his efforts in being our best game for this yeah for the all because and that was when Matt had brought up that was like okay so you so you gone to Europe so you Going you to obviously Europe. have the presence. You in Latin obviously America. have the presence in Latin America. Japan. I mean, what's next? I mean, what, what, what's what, next? What, 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 what other roads? What, what, what can you roads continue to travel you here? She continue to travel here. She continue to spread the you know, will of spin. Another world baseball classic is right around the corner. Another world baseball classic is right around the corner. Speaking to just playing around, speaking to just playing around. That'll be a big part of it. That'll be a big part of it. Has that been? Has that been? Has that been? Has that been? You know, now that it's you know now that it's it's kind of orderly and it's become orderly and it's become something where all the Organizations, all the MLB, organizations, can, you know, really kind of get a handle you know, on it. Really kind of get a handle on it. Where, is it now you know, something where it's comfortable? You know, it, it, it's comfortable. It's something that it, evolves. It's something that evolves. Evolve. I mean, because obviously, evolve. hey, I mean, the USA is the defending hey, champs. USA we want to win it again. We want to win it again. It's something that you know, Major League Baseball continues to really feel good about. Continues to really feel good about. Yes, I think you commented on. Yes, I think it has evolved. So it has evolved for the next one to occur. And for the next one to occur. And you also noted just the makeup of our players and the makeup of where there are players from. So where there are great Opportunity so to it's, a, it's a great opportunity our, our, to show our players our, our, and, and where they come from and, and where they you know, come showcasing from. Showcasing that light of them you know, playing for their, their, their home, home country. country. Their, their that really home is country. a special really event, is a world baseball classic. Baseball classic. Uh, it's been around, I think, there's, uh, been, been, around, there's been, been four tournaments. There's been Japan four tournaments. The Dominican Republic and then the USA won. The last one in 2017. Um, how did that idea necessarily develop and evolve that first tournament? That first tournament. It's, it's evolved quite a bit, and it's, I think it's evolved uh, quite a bit. And the, I think the different format tweaks and whatnot, the format tweaks and whatnot, will happen that you know, as far and the potential will happen as far and the potential will happen in the future. See that evolve and see that evolve and be probably a little bit more aligned. It's probably a little bit more aligned than that exists. But it's a great opportunity. But it's a great opportunity to go back and send play players to go back and play for their and show that excitement and personality. Show that excitement and personality that they as a child growing up and as a child growing up and as a major league baseball. So us at major league baseball. So it's hard to. Uh, it's hard to believe another one's approaching. It, 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 it is. It is. But it, it, it uh, is. It is. Kind of uh, put a bow on our, kind of our chat. Put a bow on our chat. Great to have you. Great to have you. As far as this all-star festivities, you know, as, as, you know, festivities and everything, as, you know, as, you know this, is, as, this is as you said. This is you know, this is as you said. This is not something that comes together in a few months or even one year. It's something that comes together in a few years. that comes together in a few years. How many years, like, do you start worrying now about, like, 2023 at some point? I mean, besides next year, besides next year, like, two to three years ahead, as cities try to figure out how to kind of put this all together and put this all together and continue to take this to the next level. Yes, definitely. There's a couple that have already been announced. There's a couple that have already been announced. The coming year, so the in L.A., followed by Atlanta, 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 followed by
That's what Barbara, it's, it's, it's been great to have you. Barbara, it's uh, been great to have you. Uh, Vice Barbara President Q's, of Marketing uh, for Major League Baseball. Baseball. Great, great to have you up here. Great to have you up here. Welcome to Cleveland. Welcome to Cleveland. Continue to continue push to uh, and thanks for push thanks forward. For being up here. Thanks, for, thanks for being up here. Thanks all this for, here to Cleveland. Well, thank all you for having us, and we're looking forward to a great couple of days. Indeed. 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 Major League Baseball, the 2019 All-Star Game is the All-Star Game. But there's so many things but there's so many things. You know, as I, I said, Matt, you, you know, know, as I, I, I said, can Matt, remember you know, that, well, I can remember be, that, well, you know, it used to be, Sunday was you know, just, was Sunday was just, Monday was, was game. Monday was, Derby was and Tuesday's the All-Star Derby game. and Tuesday's it's the All-Star game. It's, 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 it's as much more than that. It's as much more than It started today with Playball Park and it's going to continue tonight. And it's going to continue With the concert series, 21 concert series playing on Mall B. Also, the Killers will be playing tomorrow. will be playing tomorrow. At Mall B as well. At Mall B as well. That just kind of helps kick off the weekend at Makes it a party again. It fights it a party show plan for this show evening. Plan. I believe the tomorrow night evening. And I believe the tomorrow night. And then you get to the business. And then you get to the business. And what I mean by that is the actual game. What I mean by that is the actual game. Then you get the futures game. Then you get also the celebrity softball game, which I think is going to be an Which I think is going to be an absolute I mean, there are so many Clevelanders so many Clevelanders that came from around the country, took time out of their busy schedule to be a part of that game. To be a part of that game. And that's just going to be a fun night. And that's just going to be a fun night. Followed by the future game on Sunday. And then Monday, I think is the premier event of the All-Star Week. Other than the game itself, other than the game itself, it's an awesome event. It's an awesome event. I think we're really looking forward to this. This is we're going to enjoy because you and I were looking at 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 you know collectibles earlier and Brian Crane, our producer here, is saying, "Man, wonder how much that might be. Wonder how much that might be. Howard Shelton." Joins us. He Howard is Shelton joins us. He is Major League Baseball program manager. How are you doing? It's great to have Howard you with us. It's Thank great to have you with us. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much for joining us. All right. In your, I mean, I, I love this because it's like I love this because it's like you've got the you've got the hat. Tell us, you know, about your job and what you do. Your job and what you do as a part of this as a part of this huge event here at Play Ball Park. Huge event here at Play Ball Park. It's a really good chance for all the fans. Really good chance for all the fans. Really be part of this process. Really be part of this process. What I do, but specifically for what I do for, uh, play for, ball, for uh, is play ball. We have twelve is, authenticators. We have twelve here. authenticators, and we split them up on the three, um, areas, um, where the three um, areas where the areas where the legends are signed. So the fans will have okay. their items. So the fans will have their line, and they'll have their items And they'll have their items authenticated. Now what we see mostly are caps. What we see mostly are caps and props. That's right. Props. That's right. What happens is the what happens is the we have a tamper-proof hologram that actually that the authenticator will actually fix on the item. If I may, okay. Okay. so if I may, show you how that's done. Well, demonstration. You how that's I like done. it. Well, demonstration. I like there it. There we go. So they take the hologram. So they take the hologram, and they place it right on and the they ball. They place it right on the, the ball. item that's going to be or the item that's going to be. Now the good thing about this now is the good that you know, this at time, is that in you know, time, the fan time, can look on MLB.com, can look on MLB.com, and actually see their item and actually see their item. And when the it was signed, signed and, and the actual item in there, there. so yeah, that's, cool. in there. So that's cool. because I mean, we it was, it was funny. We, you know, it was, it was our guy funny. Brian had a, a our guy uh, Brian had a, a satchel uh, page a, baseball. A, a satchel page and baseball. One of the guys uh, looking at it, but one of the guys that's looking at it though, because that's you know people want to be able to say yes. People want to be able to say yes on July fifth. July Raleigh fingers signed my baseball. Raleigh fingers signed my baseball. I signed my baseball. This isn't a fake. This isn't a forgery. This is real. Absolutely, this is real. Authenticators, because we have here at uh, Play Ball, we'll, we'll, we'll have them at the All-Star game, we'll have them at the All-Star game, we'll have them at the Futures game, we'll have the All-Star game itself, and the All-Star game itself. It's a way that, you know, it's a way that items that come off the field can be Items that come off the field can be I think that's what separates our program from some of the other programs, from some of the other programs, from some of the other sports league, MLB's the only sports league that has a program like this, where it's witness-based, where it's witness-based, where authenticator has to look at exactly what is, they're authenticating, or they won't be able to authenticate. So that, that's what separates us. That, that's what separates us. When you take a look at some of the items that you've authenticated, what are, are, are some of the artifacts of the game that you've been able to authenticate in your time? So if I go back to some of the World Series, so if I go back to some of the World Series, that you know, we've authenticated, I mean, obviously the Indians, Cubs, we understand how that kind of turned out. It was still a great series. 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 But some of those, the bases, the one-deck circles, the line-up cards, the line-up cards, 
jerseys, uh, anything course, that's, jerseys, you know, anything very that's important, you know, telling history, very important. Yeah. telling history, and, and that's yeah. what, what we're doing, and, and that's what, what we're doing. Because that's, you know, because that's it's part of you know, everything else. It's part of you know, everything else. Baseball you know, special makes play ball baseball part special, makes play ball part special. There's the note to history, and, and, yeah. you know, yeah. and it, it, yeah. you know, Matt and I were talking it, about it. Matt and I were talking about it. There's something about, you know, something about things get passed down, things get passed down, and it's the ability to be able to share it, to be able to share it, and there'll be so many opportunities this weekend for autographs, for signatures, for authentication, for authentication, that it really makes you guys do it. It's special. It's a family thing. It's special. It's a family thing. And that's what I said at the time. An event like this, an event like this, it allows the fans, it allows the fans, the great fans in the surrounding areas, the surrounding areas, a place like the meat legends, like the meat legends. This all Carlos Baerga. He had a line on the south He had a line on the south for a signature. So for a signature, that's a once in a lifetime. That's a once in a lifetime thing for some folks. It's really a proud moment. It's really a proud moment. I think you know for us to be a part of that. You know, How cool is it not only to see the fans react to the players, but the players, players react to the fans when they're interacting, the fans when and, they're and interacting, seeing, and seeing how they played maybe 30 years ago, and people still remember them, and people still remember, and them, people still and remember them, how the memories just kind of flood back to them, the players. Absolutely, I just saw Burke camp in there, I just saw Burke camp in there a little bit early, he was signing a little bit early, he played a while back, he played a while back, he still gets a kick out of he still gets a kick out of fans coming up and saying, you know, can you sign a camp instead of Burke, can you sign a camp instead of things. Yeah. Different things so like things that, you know, different things like that. You know, they, they the do the one thing I want to add is that they understand the program. They, they understand, understand that it's a protection. They understand that it's a protection. Um, for we had a huge situation um, years ago. This is how the program kind of started. This is how the program kind of started. We were having a lot of fun. We were having a lot of things in the market. A lot of bad things in the marketplace. We understood we got a problem. We understood we got a problem. We were getting the exact answer. We were getting the exact answer. We created the program in 2001 based on a FBI bullpen. Operation bullpen. And right. based on that, and, uh, uh, based on that, that uh, the seventy five percent of all seventy five percent of all signed merchandise, signed merchandise in the marketplace, was so fraudulent. baseball is a big so lion's share of that. So we knew we had a problem. So we knew we had a problem. Do so you, you, know, you still get a kick? Do you still get a kick? You know, Matt was saying it. You know, Matt was saying it. How the players interact with each other. But you get to interact with you get to interact with the past, but the players of today as well. I mean, I gotta imagine. I mean, I gotta imagine. There's a little boy in you. There's a little boy. You know, to, to, oh, to be oh, around these legends, around these legends. No doubt about it. I mean, growing no up a baseball, baseball fan, growing up a baseball fan, baseball fan, baseball fan like, 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 so, uh, big Philadelphia fan, fan, okay? Big Philly fan, okay? It is. But it is a thrill to go into a clubhouse. It is 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 a clubhouse. It
been part it, it really helps us out a lot. It, it, it really helps us out. Is it hard to keep up with the technology sometimes? Technology sometimes how with everything you know, changes. You know, it seems like everything, everything changes, whether it's, it's like everything phones, changes, whether it's, or it's phones computers or, or whatever. Or, yeah, computers in the last couple of years, yeah, we really in the last couple of years, we really in terms of technology. Um, in terms of technology. We have a system where we can have a system where we so much information now. So much information now. So when a baseball is thrown out of play, you know, we can attach a picture. You know, we can attach a picture of that particular baseball. But not only that, baseball. I mean, we're talking about. I mean, we're talking pitch about speed, um, launch pitch angle. Speed, so there's so many different variables. So, so many that different have variables that are at, 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 at our fingertips that we can use. In your career with MLB, has, has there been a moment where you've been asked, asked to authenticate you've been something? Asked and you you kind of have to pinch yourself. You kind of have to pinch yourself. Wow. Just like that's even like you see a lot of cool things. You see a lot of that thing. Really cool. That the one thing that comes to mind. Right. One thing that comes to mind. Two thousand four, the Boston Red Sox won their World Series for the first time in World Series years. First time in many many years. Years. The lineup part, um, the lineup part, um, and I'm not going to, um, and I'm not going to, how much the, money did it win for, how much money did it win for, that was a special right. moment, but that was a Red Sox hadn't won in so many years, and we had that lineup card, and we had that card for them, that you know, after that game four, you know, after that game and four, and I was looking at it, holding it, I'm like, wow, this is really good, I'm like, wow, this is really good, that's special, that's special, that's special, that's great to see you, thank you for coming down and joining us, thank you for coming down and joining us, enjoy Cleveland and enjoy this, enjoy Cleveland and enjoy the festivities, I appreciate it for having me on, I appreciate it, thank you, that's Howard Schell, that's Howard Schell, he is their authentication, baseball, he is program, their authentication manager. program manager, I, and, and I love, I, and, and I love just the, the all these, just the intricate the, all these that go into, details that go into, that go into, but what, you know, that's does, how, but, you know, I mean, that's how, be, I mean, there's the baseballs, there are going to be, there are going to be, like, to be signed this week, current all-stars, you know, current all-stars. Former uh, stars, former, you know, legends, uh, whatever, former, you know, legends, and the whatever. fact that they can and authenticate the it right on the spot, they can authenticate it right so on the spot, it. so you Proof. have it. There you go. It, that is there you go. Really it, it, cool, that is the thing. I'm really very cool glad we got to talk. To very glad we got to talk because he, like uh, I said, because he, like I said, he's a guardian of this game. He's a guardian of this game. Yes, it's his responsibility. and his responsibility and his team to make sure that everything associated with MLB is legit. Is legit. Is legit. That is such a special thing. That is such a special thing. That tells me that this game really does care about this Really does care And they understand it. They and they understand it. You know, I mean. Major League Baseball well, is much more Major League Baseball concerned about what the fans are going to do about what the fans with the baseball, with the baseball, what the habit that gets authenticated. That what happens after that, that. Okay, what happens that, after that, you. okay, that, but, that's on I mean, you. If you're trying to sell I mean, a baseball at an auction or something, you don't have an authentication. You don't have an authentication. Forget about it. You're not going to get what you could get. You're not going to get what you could get. You're not going to get what you could get. That's I mean, it's all part, as you say, it's all part, as you say, preserving the integrity of your collectibles, so to speak. Of baseball. Yeah, yeah, so it, speak of baseball. That was yeah, a tremendous it, opportunity. That was a tremendous to to opportunity. Howard, yeah. to so knowledgeable about the game. So knowledgeable about the game. I'm really I'm glad we really got to talk about not glad just we got his to talk job, about some of the cool things he's been associated with. I can't with. imagine how much a Boston I can't imagine Red Sox, how much Red Sox lineup card from 2004 went for, but I know there's a fan probably in New England that spent a very good chunk of money on that card. But I know there's a fan probably in New England that spent a very good chunk of money on that card. Yeah, that's going. 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 That's Come Again. down here to you play ball come park. Down here to play I mean, ball park. Next to I mean, us, uh, next to us, uh, softball uh, legend Jenny Finch is there now. I don't think she's, she's there now. There now but she's uh, there now. Pictures, uh, you've, pictures, got but you've got autographs, but you've got autographs. But you know, something as simple as you get an autograph here. You get an autograph here. You authenticated and immediately authenticated. You've got an item that you would like to find out. You would like to find out how much is it legit? How much would something like that be worth? Would something like that be worth? Now I can go home and tell my dad. Home and tell my dad. What the people that were sitting the next people to that were sitting were next doing. to yes. they were authenticating. Yes. Yes. they were so authenticating. That's, that's really yes. cool. So that's, they were, that's that really they cool. Are that they there? That are there to do so that? So you know, so you everything know that you want to know that you about want the details to know about the, the details, details not only of the who signed it, only when they signed it, where they when they signed it, where they signed it, and that is legit. That's awesome. I got that's awesome. I hope at some point this weekend. I hope at some point this we get a chance to see Dwight. We get a chance to see Dwight. I'm so happy. I'm so happy here that he's back here. First time in 20 years that he's been back in Cleveland. He's been back in Cleveland. People forget. You know, he was. 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 People forget.
Jake in the 98, 99 seasons, but or 99, 2000, or 99, 2000, I think it was. It, it, it's great uh, to have him it, back. It's great there, to have there him really back. There were some special there, moments. There were some special yes, moments. He did. In an Indian uniform. Yes, he did. In an Indian uniform. Yes. yes. And, and, and just, you, you could and just and see the talent. You could just see the talent. Even though it was at the tail end of his career. Even though it was at the tail end of his career. How good he really was. How good he really was. How special really was. Over to your left is a man who makes our lives a lot easier. Working a lot easier. Every day. Covering the Cleveland Indians. Covering the Cleveland Indians. Good to see you, Austin. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. We know this is not all we get to have you on air, but you have you on air, but you, you do so many things. You do so many with Curtis Stamper, working with Mark Stamper, working with Mark Stamper, and the great PR staff have the Cleveland Indians. And of course, Bob DiBiase, the legend. Bob DiBiase, the legend. He is. I put myself on the list. He is. I put myself on the list. We have Bobby. We have Curtis. Anyone else? Anyone else? Thank you for having me on. It's great to be here. It's great that you guys are here. It's great that you guys are here for a pretty exciting week. How much sleep have you got? The last few <laughs> days here, the last leading few up days to here, leading the, the up opening, to kind of this the, the opening day, day of kind of the festivities. Opening uh, day sleep's of the been okay. Uh, uh, sleep's been nerves okay. Nerves and stress uh, level has been here. Stress level has been here. But you know that's here. But you know that's just because you want this to be a perfect event. You want this to be a perfect. It's a great opportunity to showcase. It's a great opportunity to showcase the Cleveland Indians. Showcase the Cleveland Indians. And we really couldn't have asked for better. We really couldn't have asked for better. Weather today and just a better event. I mean, this is unbelievable. You know, this is unbelievable. You know, we have great event. We do it here in the great event. We do it here in the um, and then you see MLB come um, in, and then you see really MLB come in and, this and really place, transform uh, this place into a huge baseball uh, festival with the outdoor festival and the indoor and the portion of it. And it's, it's unbelievable. It. And it's, it's, it's just a great start to the week. It's just a great start to the week. There's so many fun things coming up. There's so many fun things coming up. You know, not if they don't have you know, not if they don't have all star game tickets. You know, you can come here and still touch and feel the all star game, which is so cool. I think is a fan of baseball. Not only here at Playball Park, but there are concerts that are going to be on Concerts that are going to be on later. Tonight, uh, uh, later pilots tonight, are playing, 21 killers pilots are tomorrow playing, tomorrow night, and killers are you know, tomorrow night. This really you has... Know, this really has so much more become than just so a fan fest, the home run derby, fest, at the all star game. Since Cleveland the last game. hosted Since in 97, last hosted this really has become a week long party. This really has become really a week long party. So what's crazy really when you talk about that? So what's crazy when you talk about that? We have the legacy community of all the Cleveland community events and Major League Baseball team, the Major League Baseball team in the community. You have the concert, you have the 5K color run Sunday morning that people can go just, you know, that people can go just, you know, they love running 5Ks and they love running 5Ks and you know, baseball's uh, you, you, know, you know, baseball is incorporated. You need to run around downtown there. Cleveland. Uh, and then there. you have um, play ball and then park you have for the first time ever. They combine the first time ever. They combine the free outdoor first paid indoor, indoor uh, paid uh, indoor. Uh, there's just so much going on. There's, there's just so much going on. The city. You're anywhere in downtown city. You're anywhere in downtown city. You can really see uh, the All Star game anywhere. The All Star game anywhere. Whether it's on a bridge or at the airport. Or at the airport. The airport. Or at the airport. Yeah. Public square is going to be activated. Gateway Plaza. Gateway Plaza field in between and the field house. That area is going to be activated. That area is going to be activated. There's a ton going on. And what's crazy? Talk about 1997. And what's crazy? Talk about 1997. So the, the legacy projects and these so community the events, that MLB does, the ball clubs, whenever they come in for an All Star, whenever they come in for an All Star, that started in Cleveland. That started in Cleveland. That started with the Larry Doby playground. That started with the Larry Doby playground. We were there yesterday. We were there at the Larry Doby playground. Back at the Larry Doby playground. And they revamped the Larry Doby playground. They did it back in 1997. And so to see it kind of come full circle. And so to see it kind of come full circle. Cleveland's been, you know, Cleveland's been the starting grounds for so many different All Star games. So many different All Star games. So the legacy projects that started in 1997. This event, the way it is this play event, the way it is, this is the first time park. they've ever done that. This is the first time they've ever done that. And they're doing the it here carpet in show. It's going to be a parade down East 9th. It's going to be a parade down East 9th. And they're going to get out and they're going to do a red carpet Hollywood event. That's the first time they've ever combined it. It's going to look like that here in Cleveland It is really cool that MLB trusts us and they're willing to try new things here because they know we have passion in baseball fans in this city. And that's evident by how many people are here today, even on a hot day, on a hot day. Outside with people enjoying, enjoying the festivities, and enjoying the festivities. Same thing. People are really just Same enjoying thing. the game. Really is that really the, the greatest reward? Is that really the greatest reward? You see all that hard work pay off. All that hard work pay off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it really is. We started planning this event eighteen months ago. Eighteen months ago. You know, to see it really, you know, to see it really come full circle. Just the amount of people. You know, it's a Friday. People. It's a work day here in Cleveland. You're coming off the Fourth of July holiday. 
4th of July all day. Town. People the amount of people town. that were here the by 10:30, when FanFest opened at 10, when FanFest opened at 10, was mind blowing to me. I mean, the place was already crawling with people. I mean, the place, place, was, already the place was already crawling people with people using the outdoor portion, people using the outdoor portion, the free part. We had the lightning strike. Everyone came inside. Everyone came inside. And the cool part about it is, you know, it's affordable. It's something that you can come do with some family. There's stuff for family. Every age group here. Every age group here. It's so amazing to see everyone be here. It's so amazing to see everyone be here. Uh, to and to really see baseball take over the city. And, you know, it's for the, you know, we, we you know, signed out of the four o'clock first. At once, once the Royals mascot, Carlos Baierga was the first guest. Carlos Baierga was the first guest. And he just to see, just to see his passion for baseball. His passion for baseball. He just to see, he just to see, he just to see, he just to see, as an Indians ambassador, as an how much Indians he ambassador, loves to be involved in this, and I know Kenny Lofton is the same way, and obviously Jim Comey and Sandy Alomar. I mean, those I mean, alumni, those really alumni still really love Indians still baseball, love and Indians baseball, baseball, baseball and Cleveland in general. And baseball oh, in Cleveland 100%. In general. Carlos was here on July 3rd. Carlos was here on July 3rd. In the convention center, working with kids, wearing his red Indians jersey, and working on drills with the Boys and Girls Club kids here on the Diamond. Girls Club kids he here on the diamond. He and lives in Indian baseball. He's the best Indian baseball. He's the best ever ever Ask for it. I mean, you see it in his eyes. I mean, you see it in his eyes. He loves talking he Indian baseball. He is still so connected to the team. He's still so connected to the team. And Alomar, who's still here. And Alomar, who's still here. Our baseball history is so rich. Our baseball history is so rich. And you see the alumni come back. You see the alumni come back. They come back because they know people care. They come back because they know people care. And they had a great time in this city. And you hear so many players. You know, they'll go to other players. You know, they'll go to other players. Their careers, they'll, they'll play parts you know, of their careers uh, in you know, New York uh, or San Francisco New York, or other cities. San Francisco, they seem to the always come back to Cleveland. They seem to I always come back to Cleveland. We always I think that's them. because we always uh, embrace them. And I think them. they can feel that. And, and we I just think have they can feel that. History. And we just have such um, a great, great history. baseball here. And especially um, great baseball here. And especially those Speaking of great history, the last time the All-Star Game the last time the All-Star Game was here, Sandy Alomar Jr. became the first player to win MVP in his home park. MVP in his home park. To your uh, point, Cleveland's always been a little point. bit innovative Cleveland's always been a little bit innovative with these all-stars. Yes, all yes, yes, they have. Yes, yes, yes. You know what we're looking for now? You know what we're looking for now? Our first home run derby winner. That's right, go. We've only had five. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why not here in Cleveland? Why not here in Cleveland? Why not? 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 Progressive field, field, Jacob Field, progressive field, field, no field, matter the Jacob name, field, there's always no some magic involved. Name, there's always some magic involved with the Indians at that ballpark. Uh, right. But that, that must have been nice. Right. Right. But that must have been nice. To get Carlos get, voted in, and, and by the way, voted in, and, and by the way, to Bravo what the Indians to, did, what the Indians uh, did, you know, with, social media uh, and getting you know, people out to vote. I thought it was terrific. I thought it was terrific. But it must have. I mean, I know how much it meant to Carlos. I know how much it felt to Carlos. But it must have felt to the whole organization. Hey, look, when the spotlight is going to be on Cleveland Tuesday night. There's going to be an Indian night. in the starting lineup as well. There's going to be an Indian in the starting lineup as well. Of course, Brad Lindor on the American League squad as well. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Carlos, you know, he finished second. You know, what they were calling the preliminary. What they were calling the preliminary. And we'll be at this new voting process this year. And we'll be at this new voting process this year. You know, you vote to get the top three. You know, you vote to get the top three. A 28-hour voting process. And then you have a 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 voting process. And then you have
and he was so gracious. He, he, he was so gracious, and, and I think that shows. And I think that shows to your point, how much he really does to your love point, really playing does in this love city, playing in this city. We were able to get him back. We were able to get him back to Cleveland. Here to Cleveland. I think it really helped. I think it really helped. Yeah, I think the numbers do the talking. I think the numbers do the talking. Which is hitting 290, career high for him batting average. Career high for him batting average in the first half. 20 home runs. You know, I mean, the guy has been unbelievable. Has been unbelievable. He's relaxed. I think it's just so happy to be here. So it's just great to see. So it's just great to see. It's gonna be great to have him on Monday night. Starting the All Star game. Starting the All Star game. Then you have Francisco Lindor. Then you have Francisco Lindor with Brad Hand. It's just gonna be a fantastic. It's just gonna be a fantastic. Yeah, we had Barbara McHugh from the Yeah, we had Baseball Marketing Office here. Baseball Marketing Office here. she made it a point to say. She made it a point to say they love they Francis love Lindor. He Francis is such a great ambassador. He is such a great yeah, we ambassador. We were talking about his, yeah, we his, game, about his, his, his home run game, in Puerto Rico his, last year. His home run in Puerto Rico you know, last when the year. When the tribe is down there. such a great ambassador for the Cleveland for, Indians, for, but, also for Indians, but also for Major League Baseball. baseball and, but also for Major League Baseball. The horns out on Frankie and how special it is. It really is. I mean, that smile really is. I mean, that smile says it all. Yeah, I love playing baseball. He loves being an ambassador for Cleveland. He loves being an ambassador for Cleveland. I mean, you see his face if you come downtown. He's everywhere around here. That's because he wants. To be, you know, that's he, he wants, wants to move to be, baseball you know, forward. He wants to move baseball um, forward. He wants um, people to have fun on the field. He wants like people he to have fun on the field uh, like he does. And just the way he uh, plays the game, just so the way he plays the game, so you so energetic, uh, and so you very affectious, uh, right? Yeah, very yeah, affectious. That's, right. that's what's so yeah, great. Yeah, about yeah, that's yeah, what's it's, so great. It's a youthful exuberance, even though exuberance, even though he's not. You know, 19, he's not 20, you know, 19, 21 anymore. 20, he's, he's 21 a, anymore. He's, a seasoned he's a, veteran and a leader a in that clubhouse. veteran and a leader in that But he still plays like But he still plays in Little League and enjoys the league game and in pure joy. The game to as pure a fan joy. of as baseball fan and as somebody who covers this team. team. Somebody who covers this that team. That is really special and that something is really we appreciate. Special and something because we appreciate. You know it means something to him. You know it means something to him. And even though he's not playing for his hometown, he still cares about this team. He still cares about this baseball as a whole. He's also done whole. a lot of projects also outside, of Cleveland, projects outside of Cleveland, outside of Cleveland, to really help grow this game. To really yeah, help grow this game. Yeah, he definitely hasn't. You saw it. Yeah, he definitely hasn't. You saw it when we went Puerto back to his hometown. When we played the Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico last year. When we played the Puerto uh, Rico series. He was on the ground, uh, in, the on the ground in the community. On the ground in the community. Immediately, projects, immediately, when we immediately got there. Projects, uh, when we got there. And then he put on quite the show in front of his hometown. And then he put on quite the show in front of his hometown. And then he put on quite the show in front of his hometown. I think you could feel the stadium shake through the television set. It was going so crazy there. It was going so crazy there. And his mom was there. And it's just a you know. In, in he such plays a the loving game way, in, in such and, a loving you know, way, and, and you know, it makes me want to get out there. It makes and, me want to get out there and play right by him, right? And play right by him. Right. Right. He says right. like, oh, fun. He's having like, oh, this much fun. It looks amazing out there. It looks amazing out there. Unbelievable guy. Unbelievable guy. We're very thankful. We're very thankful. He's everything that's right. He's everything that's right about baseball. About everything you could want and everything you could want. This is all happening. This is all happening. The All Star Festivities are happening. This first half as the first half of the season comes to an end. Actually, season comes to an end. The Indians actually Eddie, off tonight. This weekend, yeah, what's it like to have a Friday? Yeah, what's it like to have a Friday? It's so weird. Friday, it's so weird. Friday, it's so weird. It's a two-game series. We'll take it, though. It's a good timing, right? We'll take it, though. It's a good timing, right? 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 And done if we today, were the Indians done the wild card, the Indians playing in the wild card, in the wild card game, for, in, in the wild uh, no card small accomplishment. Uh, what's, no what's small taking place here this far? What's taking place here this far? You look at his body of work. You look at his body of work. Six extremely, six extremely great weeks. Extremely great weeks. Season. Just the, the way he just the, works the way with he a clubhouse works and a locker room, a clubhouse and brings these guys together, and brings these guys together, handling a team of veterans, handling a team of veterans, he's great with everyone. Uh, he's great with everyone. And I think you know the players uh, know how much the players know how much they can see that with him. They can see that with him. And he's such a you know I don't want to say hands-on manager. I don't want to say hands-on manager. He's there for the guys when they need him. And he knows when to step back and let them play when they need that. Play when they need that. Amazing to watch. Amazing to watch. This team. 
a great first team, half, a, a great uh, first especially half, with all the uh, especially with all the adversity at the beginning of the season. season. But I, at the beginning I of the think, season, you know, but he's I, been in this I game so long. He's been in this game so long. He knows that every team's going to face adversity at some point in the season. At some point in the season. The and Indians and this year just came at the, the beginning of the year. year just came at the beginning of the year. For us. Like having a Tito, guy like steer the Tito, ship, steer the ship those rocky waters. Throughout that, those rocky waters, it, it can't that, be understated the job. It can't be understated the job. He's also, done. the players who have been in the lineup every day, been in the lineup every day, they're taking the message, taking the message, and now it's resulting in wins. Now it's resulting in wins. That's got to be good for that Tito. That's got to be good that it's getting through to the players. That it's getting through to the players. But it's also got to be good for the players. Got to be good to know that they have the trust. To know that they have the trust. Oh, of course. I think it's the whole oh, coaching course, staff. I think know? it's the whole coaching uh, staff. You know, from, uh, from Tito to from, to, from Tito to, 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 to Ty Van Berkley, we're hitting Ty Van Berkley. You know, everyone is guided. You know, everyone is guided. The players through the season. Um, guided the players through the season. The players, you know, and the, the players uh, responded uh, greatly from, the, from the, uh, how greatly we started the season, which is how we started the season. Fantastic and. Fantastic! Um, you know, I think everyone's um, just clicking. You know, now. I think you everyone's know, just I, clicking. I think that's now. what happens, you know, right? You know, I think that's what happens. Right? Together, you know, sometimes together, you get a run as an offense together, you get a run as an offense together. Right? As you come out of it, you figure some stuff out of it. You figure some stuff out. Yeah, here we are. You know what I love? Yeah, here we are. You know what I love? The infusion of the infusion that's been brought up. Sometimes that's been brought up. Sometimes in cases, whether it's been Bobby Bradley, whether it's been Bobby Bradley, whether it's been Zach, and they come up and they have contributed right away. Right away. Really? And they really done it. You know, the scene hasn't been big. The scene hasn't been no, too big Oscar no, McCrowley. Oh, yeah, Oscar McCrowley. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, right? no, it's Oscar. Uh, no, it's Oscar. You know, yeah. he's come up and, and you know, he's come up like when, and when Francisco much like came when, up when in 2015. It's kind of that youthful energy. It's kind of that these guys come up and it's a little bit of a spark plug. And it's a little bit of a spark plug. And you hear Tito say it all the time. You hear Tito say it all the time. It's affectionate. Some guys see that and they want to guys see that jump on that bandwagon. They want to jump hard. 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 So much about the yeah, players that we staff. have here, yeah. the that we have here. You know, they're making the, the calls. Of, hey, you know, they're making you know, the calls of hey, these guys you know, are ready to come up now. These guys are ready to come up now. They're ready to come up in this series. You know, there's um, so much that goes you know, on behind so the scenes that goes on behind the scenes that they're pulling the triggers. They have these guys ready when they have these guys ready. They come up level and they're ready to produce level and they're ready to produce to a major league roster. To a major league roster. You can't say that all the time. You can't say that all the time with with every team. Consistently, time and time again, they've been able to really show that. They've been able to really show that. It's amazing to watch because it's amazing. Players get drafted, come through our system. Players get drafted, come through our system. They're ready to compete when they get to the big league. They're ready to compete when they get to the big league. Austin, it's great to have you here. I know. It's great to have you here. At some point, I know you got to get back to work. At some point, I know you got to get back to work. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Joining us. Hats off to everybody in the Indians organization. Hats off to everybody in the Indians organization. Putting all this for together with Major League Baseball. Put together with Major League Baseball. There's a reason why MLB trusts the Indians. There's a reason why MLB trusts the Indians. Because the organization is what it is. 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 It's very it's, uh, exciting it's, to have it's here. Very exciting to have you guys here in Asan. And, uh, you guys come on down to, to and, uh, play ball. Come on down to, and, you know, to play come ball. Be a part of the festivities. You know, come be a part of the festivities. Uh, definitely be a great week. Uh, definitely be a great week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. Congratulations on the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Go tribe. Go tribe. Go tribe. Go tribe. Is right again. Quirk in the schedule. The way kind of things work out. The way kind of things don't play tonight. They'll play. Don't play tomorrow. They'll play Sunday tomorrow against the Cincinnati Reds. Against the Great American Ballpark. Down at Great American Ballpark. And then truly the All Star. Break for the players, the all star uh, break for the players, for the, the uh, clubs, and, and for the, the yeah, clubs it, for the next it, week. And they yeah, have done a good job, MLB, have done a good giving job that extra day, day, of giving that off extra during the all star break to kind of extend it, to let guys get back and, to their teams, let guys get back and have an acclimation and have before they get right back in the regular season. That's really helpful. I think that's really helpful. And it's going to be nice because the Indians are going to kick off a heck of a home stand with Rock coming up against, ironically enough, against the very team that they're chasing. The team that they're chasing in the standings, the Minnesota Twins. Heck of a way to start off the second half. Heck of a way to start off the second half. Yeah, we have a couple of moments here. We can actually like here. We can actually like guess. We've had some great guests. 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 We
got you covered. We've got you covered and about all star. We may have some more dynamite. We may have some more dynamite drop-ins from mascots. You never know. I mean, you never know. I mean, it's gonna be hard to be hard to top one here. But our first one here. The Indians, as I mentioned with the Indians, as I mentioned with Austin, they're coming in playing really good baseball right now, Matt. I mean, they got to a point. They got to a point. They had what seventeen and nine. They've kept it going in the month of July. In the month of July. I mean, and it's I mean, gonna be it's you know gonna be a situation here where a situation here they've really got an opportunity. They've really got an opportunity. I think kind of rewrite what I we all thought was going to be the narrative of the season. The narrative of the season. Well, they're going to be sellers. They're going to have to wait a year. They're going to have to wait a year and things like, like that. Year, things like that. Know, not so much. You know, yeah, not so no much. Yeah, not the way they had a plan. fantastic month. They had a fantastic month. They made a lot of ground. They made a lot of ground up in the only six back now. Six Minnesota in the best part. Minnesota in the best part. Over the second half of the schedule. Over the second half of the schedule after this All-Star break. They play the Twins thirteen times. They play the Twins thirteen times. So they don't even really need. They don't even really outside need help. No, they don't need to worry help. about that. No, they don't need to worry about that. They just handle their business. They just handle their business. They can put themselves right. They in the can hunt put for themselves right in the hunt for another that's division. That's the thing. Is like, I know that's the they're, thing is like, they're I know they're back in the division standings. Back in the division but standings. But quietly, they have had a quietly they have had a season. Yeah, look at their record. Season. Yeah, look at their record. Multiple games above five hundred. Multiple games above five hundred. Multiple series wins. Multiple series wins. They haven't gone on that monster winning streak that they've been accustomed to over the last three years. over the last three years. That but might be coming. Eight. Who knows? Uh, that at some point, we uh, at some certainly point, welcome we'd, that. Certainly uh, welcome that. But yeah, they, uh, they are right in the yeah, thick they, of the they race are right here. In the thick not of the race here. Not just for that wild card spot. Not just for that but wild for the card division. spot. Minnesota but for the division. Should Minnesota should be looking over their shoulders right now because, because the Indians are coming out strong. Because the Indians are coming out strong. Hopefully the break doesn't cool. Hopefully the break doesn't Keep in mind the Indians are doing this. Keep in mind the Indians are doing this. No Corey Kluber. No Corey Kluber. No Carlos Carrasco. No Carlos Carrasco. They just got Mike Clevenger back for a second time and after a second time and after rough starts. I, I, I think everybody starts, kind of breathed the I, I sigh of relief the other night sigh with, how well yeah. 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 with how well he pitched in Kansas City. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, really, you know, I, I mean, tell you, really, the MVPs, if you, you were MVPs voting on the MVPs, MVPs in the first half, I think Austin mentioned one, Mercado. I think the other one might be Shane Bieber. I think the other one might be Shane Bieber. He has kind of kept the starting rotation together. The starting together. The starting rotation, yeah. With Carlos going down for an undetermined amount of time. Kluber on a time. Kluber in a similar situation. In a similar situation where we don't know yet what that timetable is going to be. And truthfully, Trevor Bauer not having the kind of season that he expected and wanted to have up until this have, point, up until uh, this point, to be uh, where they are, to be where they are, really a I testament, truly really a testament to the guys who have been on the, the field guys who have been on guys the field like every Mercado, day. Guys, guys like Mercado, Lindor, guys after he got like back Lindor from after he and got back from injury. Santana. And how about Carlos Santana? I mean, Santana? You, I mean Carlos Santana, been brilliant. Has, Carlos Santana has, had several slow starts. Had several slow starts. He's not come out of the gate. Not come out of the gate at any point really in his at any point really in his. And, and to do current. what he's doing and now, and to do what he's is doing now, unbelievable. Is and you, a, unbelievable. And you, a, truthfully, he deserved this. Truthfully, he deserved yeah, he, this. He all did. And I, yeah, he, I go he back did. And I, I go back to your point you know, with Austin. The way Major League you know, Baseball, the way Major League Baseball, kind of reshuffled the, the rules this year with getting, the rules with getting this being year voted into the All Star game. It's not just Star game. You know, it's not just. Well, we'll start voting in early May and early May, late June, and who's ever late June, and who's ever top. They they took it to the end of June. They took it to the end of June. You know, and they then they had top three. You know, they took threw the out the three, results. Threw out the results. And said, "Okay, we're going to do a revote okay, now. We're going to do a vote again. Now, and we're going to vote again." And Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. It went close. Ran away with it. He ran away with it. He ran away with it. I just, I, I think number one, it's a, it's a credit number one. It's a credit to you. Great job out there for voting. Great job. But as I said to Austin, but as I said to Austin, did a terrific job. Did a terrific job. Getting out there on social media. Getting out there on social media. Voting. Kind of stirring up interest. To, hey, stirring look, up interest. We're hosting to, hey, the All Star game. We're hosting the All Star game. How cool would it be to have one of our guys in the starting lineup? And, and, and kind of getting, kind of getting that momentum going. And you know, momentum going. Carlos and, Santana so you know, deserving. Santana and so deserving. Uh, so in, and to uh, beat so in, out to New York Yankees. I can't tell you how impressive that was. Impressive that was. For this fan this base. New York's got. Eight and a half million people on Eight and a half million yes. people on City's so nice yes. they named it twice. City's so nice they named it twice. I would imagine probably I would imagine probably sixty five percent of those people in New York City. Those people in New York City. If they're natives are Yankees. If they're natives yeah. are Yankees. So you're, 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 yeah. you're, so you're dipping into a you're big pot. Dipping yeah. into a big pot. Yeah. Cleveland has a much smaller Cleveland population. Has a much smaller population. Yet, Carlos yet, Santana was able to start. That tells you. 
that this tells fan you base, really this fan base embraces really him. I mean, he got support him. from his I mean, far he got away support from his far away with, uh, and I, I wrote about this <laughs> <and> I <laughs> wrote about this from a summer school <laughs> teacher in Hawaii. A summer school jokingly, teacher in Hawaii yes. promised to fail yes. his students if they didn't fail vote his for Carlos Santana. Santana. They didn't vote for Carlos Santana. He got a little bit of heat. He got a little bit of heat. Media, but he also got a lot of love. Media, but he also got a lot of love. Including the Indians who shouted him out for his tweet. That's right. So thank you to the island of Hawaii for the island of Hawaii of Carlos Santana. Dino will be happy. Dino will to uh, happy, deliver a thank you card uh, in person. Thank you card in person. person. I'll you just let him know. When you're ready, and he'll be there. When you're ready, and he'll be there. But that was, and, and then but that was, add, and, and then Francisco you add Lindor, who Francisco you know, Lindor, who, as Farmer you know, said, as I mean, Farmer said, he's one of the faces of Major League Baseball. He's one of the faces of Major League Baseball. You know, along with you know the Mike Trout, the Mike Cody Bellinger, the Mike Cody Bellinger, the Mike Judge. I mean, and I mean, the fact and the fact that he didn't get voted he in didn't get but, voted in you know in but, a very crowded you know, in a very talented crowded field of short stops, talented field of short stops, in an injury filled in first an injury half of the filled first he half still of the has season, put up the numbers he's still to the point he's going to get in and get he's going to get in and get to play um, as a reserve that means a lot um, too to have that means him a lot too to a have part of these festivities a part of these festivities i know he missed some time at the i know he missed some time at some people consider that a knocker and consider that a knocker and negative but he does frankie deserves but he does frankie does he deserves to be a part of and he deserves to be a part of this festival of baseball. Festival of baseball. I don't know that in the I don't the know years that I've the, been in this business years I've that been in I've this business covered that I've an covered athlete an who athlete loves his sport who loves his as sport. much as Frank. As much I can as Frank. honestly say that's I can a very short list. That's a very and short in my list. mind, everybody else is shooting for second place. Everybody else is shooting for second place. Yeah. For second place. His yeah. love because of baseball, his love of baseball, comes out every time he's comes on the out field. Every time he's even on the field. Even if you're having a bad day, even at work, if you're having a bad day at work, you're upset about you're, something that's you're going upset on about something in that's your going personal on. life. You can look at the way Frank plays and the excitement he has, and he'll make you feel good for a little bit. And he'll make you feel good for a little bit. It's not going to cure any major illness or anything. Or anything, and but specifically sports, baseball, and specifically have an opportunity baseball, to really help have an opportunity to really help bad things. Right, and bad dates. Frankie right. is the and ultimate Frankie example. Frankie is of the that. ultimate example. I don't know too many players that have. I don't know too many players that have bad days around. It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. You know, he right. makes and Terry you know, Francona's job a lot easier. He's the leader of the team. You're the leader of the team. You're the leader of the team. You get and that much joy, you get that, that much inspiration, that much inspiration. It's infectious. It's contagious. It's infectious. And I think it's, it's one of the reasons why. I think it's one of the know, reasons why Oscar Mercado you know, comes up Oscar here Mercado and, comes and up succeeds. Bobby and, Bradley and succeeds. succeeds. Bobby Bradley you know, succeeds. Zach Pleasak you know, succeeds. Zach Pleasak because, succeeds. You know, because it's all part you know, of the culture. It's all part of the culture that they created that in that clubhouse. They created in that, that clubhouse. That Francisco really has been the catalyst. When you get a guy who loves the game and loves and the game not only and, and is not only that excitable is that but also that kind of but also that MVP kind of caliber product, MVP productivity uh, productivity you, you uh, hold on to those guys you hold on for, to those guys for dear life you for, want them to be dear life you want them to be members of your franchise lifetime members of your franchise so because they just I gotta tell you what our next I gotta tell you I think our next might be one of our favorites here might be one of our favorites here all of our guests all of our guests all of our guests but I think we're gonna be talking about Dave Hunt from Hunt Auctions is gonna join us here soon and Hunt Auctions is gonna join us here soon he's got some nice items he's got some Nice show items. us. Uh, I don't show know that I want to touch any of that. I, 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 I don't want to touch any of that. I don't feel let us. But I don't feel let us. I really don't. I really don't want to see. Dave's going to join us now. Dave's going to join us now. Dave's good to see you. Oh, I know, right. Oh, I know, right. That would be tremendous. That would be the best guest of the day. That would be the best guest of the day. That's right. Yeah, join uh, us here. Uh, again, yeah, we're at Playball here, uh, Park again, here we're at, at the Huntington Park Convention here Center, at the downtown Huntington Convention Center, Center. Day downtown Play Ball Park. Day one of Play Ball Park. Major League Baseball's All Star Game festivities. Dave, good to see you. Great to be here. Yeah, great to be here. I know you were with the guys this morning. I know you were with the guys this morning. We didn't get to see you. So we didn't get to see you. What did you got? What did you? What are you excited? You know what's cool? I'm excited. You know what's cool about the All Star Play Ball Park every year. The All Star Play Park every year. The All Star Play Ball Park every year. What we like to do is have what we like to do is have items. From all great the historical baseball players, players and also the current baseball things players modern and also as well. current things what really modern as well. One unique thing really about the, baseball that's different than any other sport. Their history is richer than any other sport. Their history is richer than any other sport. We got things like pennants, obviously. We got things like pennants, obviously. 
which is actually interestingly hosted in the other major league teams right. than any other so major this, league team. Right. That's 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 right. That's
has branched open and allowed open and allowed here. Jenny to be here. Jenny to be here. Really share and really share the family experience of baseball, experience of baseball with everybody. It's so with everybody. It's the family of baseball. It's the family of baseball. No, it's awesome. Well, no, it's most of us like myself. Most of us like myself. We grew up watching MLB. We grew up so we grew up watching the Dodgers. We grew up watching the Braves. I grew up watching the Braves. I came home every day. Braves were on TV. So Braves were on TV. So amazing. And I feel such an honor and I feel such a be here and be a part of all of this here and be a part of all of this. MLB has been a big part of my MLB has been a big part of my my part of my career. My part of my player and being able to look up to some being able to look up to some baseball players. You get to come to events like this. Get to come to events like this. Interact with the fans. Interact with the fans. How cool is see two multi generations of fans? Multi generations of fans who watch you play are now bringing their kids. They're now bringing their kids. Their little girls and kind of hold you as a role model. Kind of hold you as a role model. Young ladies can do young ladies can do if they apply themselves to the game. Yeah, it's like full circle moments. I mean, I think when you come to these things, like I start to think about. Like my, my journey, and about I remember my when I was five years old, just starting, and like gravitating towards anything, and gravitating like towards anything, the players and I saw like on TV, the but I think when you come to events like this, like it's just the connection, like it's just the connection, it's just the connection of parents, parents, it's the connection, connection of generations, connection of generations. Like if you don't come to this event, don't leave without a smile, like leave without a smile. It's impossible because it's just so much good positive energy. There's just so much good positive energy that comes to you when you come to these events. Comes to you when you come to these events. You look like you, but you look like you're in bad place tomorrow. Played tomorrow and the team USA won the gold medal. Team USA won the gold medal. Do you still? I mean, do you still? I mean, we were talking to some to Carlos Baer the last hour. It's like a family reunion. When you have events like this, when you have events like this, it's a family reunion. It's a family reunion. The old jokes, the old stories, the old stories, and that moment. I'm sure that moment. I'm sure we did it. Realize all that kind of come back to you. All that kind of come back to you. Like that. You're always gonna remember your wins and your losses, but you never forget the people that you never forget. So like those relationships. So, so, like, you know, Lisa Fernandez that's here, you know, Jenny Lisa Fernandez that's here, Jenny Finch, it's my this, teammate, like, unbreakable bond it's that, like, unbreakable that we just have, bond and immediately when we just have it, it's like you pick right back up, it's like you pick right back up, you went to battle with these people, you went to battle together, and so, together, it's this connection so that, it's just so strong, and it's just so it's like a family feel, it's like a family feel that you have. Alongside that, alongside that, you know, you are ambassadors for the game of softball, you are ambassadors for the game of softball, how nice is it to have that role where you can be an inspiration, can be an inspiration uh, to the next generation, uh, to but the next also generation, get together also and have it get together like it has a beat, be and like family, miss a beat. Yeah. And it's well, a it's so fun. I mean, yeah. well, it's, it's like so fun. I mean, it's just like honestly, the coolest job ever. I the coolest mean, job ever. out on the dirt, I mean, to be out on the dirt, playing like this game, playing like like you like it just makes you happy. Like it just makes you happy. I'm happy. So it's. I'm yes, happy, so it's huge responsibility. Yes, it's huge to, responsibility you know, be your role model, to, you know, but it's be like your role the easiest model, thing like, because it's like just thing, go out there, like, have just fun, go out there, play the game right. Get one percent right. better every single get day. Get one percent better every single day. And like those are the things that you're teaching. It's like second nature. So it doesn't really feel. So it doesn't really feel hard work. It's hard. It's a lot of fun. It's fun. Are you noticing that? Are you noticing that there is more enthusiasm now for baseball? It's more enthusiasm now for softball. Because it's more enthusiasm now for softball. Because I mean, why is that? 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 Why is that?
like call it that becoming time. a goal like, for that becoming ladies, a goal is like the coolest thing ever like now the coolest thing ever I want to be a professional softball player I want to be a professional softball player I want to be an Olympian I want to represent my country I want to represent my country that's the reality and I think it's really really cool to actually see that speaking of cool experiences speaking of cool experiences I don't know if you've had a chance to go over and see some of the exhibits but there was one that was really cool for me to see really cool for me to see all American girls all American baseball league baseball league a lot of their players and a lot of their players to give seminars to give seminars meet fans and sign autographs fans and sign autographs how cool is it to be in that lineage how cool is it to be in that lineage they kind of set the bar and they kind of set the bar up and you you picked it up and you're on it's neat i mean it's always such an honor and i mean it's always such an honor and i mean i think we're always set out for do it and just did it just because it did it just because it was you know and now for it's actually you know and now for it's something that you can receive something that you can receive a scholarship and be long and that just to be long you just want to leave the sport better you just want to leave the sport better than you found it. Um, you know, that's what we're all striving you know, that's to do every single all day is just to make sure that we leave this sport better than we found it and that bigger and better and more girls dream to play it on the bigger stage. Better and more girls dream to play it on the bigger stage. If you think about your Olympic experience, what stands, like, what stands out to you? If you think about your Olympic experience, what stands out to you? What is getting the like, call to play? The call that, okay, to play Natasha, you're on that, the team. Okay, Natasha, you're on the team. Winning, you know, actually like winning the final out, actually like getting the final out, standing on top of the metal platform, standing on top of the metal platform, and hearing the Star Spangled Banner, and hearing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh my gosh! I know. Oh my gosh! I know. I mean, I feel like all of them. I mean, I feel like all of them. I mean, I remember all of them. I mean, I remember all of them. Walking in the Olympic Stadium, the Olympic Stadium, like representing our country, like walking with the Kobe Bryant, and walking in with all these. Other walking out of all these other praise and whole high, we're all praise and stage high, we're all representing the country, we're all here representing um, making the last out, like that's making the last out, like that's remember that. I'm gonna remember that forever, <laughs> you know, forever. That, that's, <laughs> you know, that, that, that's something that I mean, I can old. remember standing on the. I mean, I, mean, I can like remember standing on the podium. I mean, I think it's just it's so hard. I think it's just it's so hard. There, but like standing on the podium, but like standing on the podium, there's nothing that there's nothing to duplicate that is in life. Like I mean, being able to like see your flag being raised, see your flag being knowing all the hard. Work that um, went knowing all that, the hard work that your went behind that, and, uh, wearing, country, those and uh, wearing those three letters across your chest, like there's three letters across your chest, like there's definitely an addicting feeling. feeling. Definitely, yeah. addicting you, want you want it over and over again. You want it over and over again. So, so um, I don't think that that, that, that will. Ever is there ever a time where is there ever a time whether you're looking at whether you're looking at up on your trophy case or up on your trophy case with teammates or talking with teammates, kind of pinch yourself, kind of like pinch yourself. Yeah, that really did actually happen. Yeah, that really did actually happen. Yeah, I mean, one hundred percent. Because we all just play this game. We because we love it. Play this and game because yes, we love we go it. Out every and game, yes, we go out every game, every game, trying to win every game. But, every game, you know, when you look but, back and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah when you look back and you're like, oh, yeah, it's just like, it's always, it's just like, it's about always, it's been about, like, I love this game, about like, I love this game, I want to compete, I want to win. So, yeah, like, sometimes, like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes, I guess I do have a medal. Like, I guess I do have a medal. When the kids ask you, when the kids ask you, I want to be you when I grow up, I want to be I want to be I want to be USA, and I want to play USA, and I want to play college softball, you know, I want to be been, you know what, where you've what, been. What, what pieces what, of advice what, what, do you give? What pieces of advice? I think the biggest thing is. I think the biggest thing is. I think a lot of we're seeing now, just like a lot of pressure of like now they know the opportunities, like now they know the opportunities, like whereas you just didn't have fun. So you just trying to keep them on, trying to keep them the journey and um like the journey and um like having a narrow focus, like just not you know you look at this like scholarship, look at this like scholarship things. It's like staying in the moment, like staying in the moment, like focus on the day to day, get one percent on the day to day, just like. 1% better. Fine like tune just like your craft. Fine tune, tune your craft. Focus, focus on that. Focus on that. You know, don't and just build. Be, you know, don't get don't, too far ahead of yourself. Be, don't get too are, far ahead of yourself. What are what some are, of the memories you what have? What are some of the memories you have because of softball, but not necessarily maybe a game result or a win? What have you gotten to do? What have you gotten to do? You look back on and say, "Wow, if you look back on and say, you look back on and say, wow, if 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 you look back on and say, Play or a season, Japan, so or eight I never in a million so years thought I would never like in a million years thought I would like be living in Japan, being there and playing the game that I love, and playing the game that I love, things like that, just the travel, the things like that, just the travel, being able to go and travel, and being able to go and travel to 2004, Beijing, 2008, like all these places that I like all these places that I places on maps and like now places on maps and like now cross off that check and like I cross off that check and like I actually went there. That's right. Thank you for stopping by. I know you got to keep rolling here. You got to keep rolling here. 
Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Great show. Wonderful ambassador. Wonderful ambassador. Softball, baseball, and everything else. Softball, baseball, and everything else. Gold medal winner is up here. At Playball Park. At Playball Park. Here as we continue on WKYC.com on YouTube. It's not every day you can hold a Babe Ruth card and then follow it up by interviewing an Olympic gold medalist. I was trying to think. I was trying to think. I don't know if I've ever actually looked. I don't know if I've ever actually looked. I think Tiana Madison. I think Tiana Madison might be the only other one. I might be the only other one. Harrison Dillard for me. Harrison Dillard for me was the first one. Uh, Bobby McLaughlin from yeah. the high yeah. end. Bobby McLaughlin from the high silver medal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, like yeah. LeBron I mean, James. Obviously, or, like you know, LeBron James. Yeah, that's Kyrie. I mean, yeah, we take that. I think that was great. I don't want to forget about that. Like Olympic sport. Like Olympic sport. I think it's really good. I think it's something you never forget. As I said to her right at the outset. As I said to her right at the outset. Kind of looking at the kind of looking at the the line that I saw her name here and I saw her name and Jenny's name and it's like the Fernandez name and it's like I I love that. I, I love that Major League Baseball is doing that. They're, 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 they're un they you understand. Know, look, it, this is a family thing. And this is a family really thing. Love the sport. As, really as love the sport. Natasha said, as, hey, look, start watching the last five years old. Start watching the Atlanta Braves games. Because the Atlanta Braves games. A lot of times growing up. A lot of times growing up. TV has a superstation. A chance you had to watch baseball every day. A chance you had to watch baseball every day. That got her addicted to the game. That got her addicted to the game. She went on to become a professional. A gold medalist and a college softball player. I mean, it's softball pretty player. amazing I mean, stuff. It's pretty amazing that's why it's stuff. important to continue that's why it's to important spread the love of the game. To yeah. Spread the love of the game. It's, yeah. it's a must, and it's, I think baseball it's a does must. a very good job of getting in on the ground floor, floor really making this a special game. Uh, and they've, they've, done uh, and they've, cool, and they've done something cool, and they've done something cool, and I kind of wish I would have remembered this earlier when we were talking to Barbara, when we were talking to marketing department, in the marketing department, that Williamsport series. That Williamsport series. Embracing the Little League Baseball Embracing the Little League Baseball Going there, actually playing going there. A meaningful game, game. A, re, a meaningful uh, game. That's tremendous, uh, and that gives that's tremendous, young and that kids gives something young to kids work something yeah. gives, gives work them toward. a yeah. realistic yeah. vision, a realistic of, of goal that they might have, a goal that and they I might have. Can't understate that, can't or understate that, that enough. How important that enough? How important that is? It is because the next generation of the game, the next generation, and if you want. To and if you preserve the game, preserve the and game, have the memories, and have the memories, continue to build on each continue other, continue to build on you each need other. Programs like that, you yeah, need programs like that. Yeah, you need to give the kids a tangible goal and say, okay, okay look, you know, say, you're okay, here look. now. You're you know, playing you're in Williamsport. You're here now. You're playing in Williamsport. You're at Tops you know, River, from, New Jersey, uh, or Tops River, New Jersey, or wherever some of the other teams that they were one of the first Americans. They were one of the first Americans that broke through after a long slump. from Tops River, New Jersey, and now. And I can sit, you know, and I can sit, and I might watch, and, and, you know, yeah, I might Albert watch, Pujols you know, Albert and, Pujols and, Mike Trout and, and the Angels Mike Trout play, and the Angels you know, play. Pick a team, the Houston Astros. Pick a team, and, and Houston Astros. You know, when you and, see those, you know, those when you players see those, in front those of you, players in front of you, it, it does something to you. It, it does something. When you get to actually you. shake their hands, when you get to it actually does shake their hands. You, it, it makes does you something say to you. It makes you say, "Maybe I can do this. Maybe, maybe I if I work this. hard enough. You, maybe if I work hard enough, the you, questions you're able to ask the questions like what you know, Natasha. When you're a kid, and when you're a kid, I want to be like you. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? What do you me to do? Advise me to do. You can have those conversations. You can have those conversations. You know, you, have you, know, you have a goal to work for. You have a goal to work it, for. Work for. Yeah. It. Having an example. Having an example of the roadmap of the road you want to go to where you want to go. Is so vital. You have to. You have a vision for where you want to go. Have a vision for where you want to go. What you want to accomplish. Goal for what you want to accomplish. But sometimes you don't know how to get to that. But sometimes you don't know how to get to that final. And you have to navigate. And you have to navigate. At times overwhelming journey, at times but overwhelming you have to enjoy that journey. But you have to enjoy that journey. That journey. Uh, that's I think, a uh, takeaway uh, that's from a, uh, takeaway interview from is Natasha's she enjoyed interview her journey. Is, she yes. enjoyed all her journey through. Yes. She all the way through. She couldn't moment. pick what was her because, favorite moment. Well, like she, because she sort of did. Well, like but she, it she took her a while to get there. Because there have been there because so many there have memorable so moments on that journey. Memorable moments on that journey. That's really what this is. And that's really what this is about. Time. It's a long time. Uh, uh, participate in baseball. Uh, participate before in baseball. Consider getting into the major league. 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 Sometimes three, in some cases, five, ten years in the minors. Right. Ten years just in the minors. Just hoping for a break. Just hoping for a break. And then you get your opportunity. And then you get your opportunity. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. And the ability to persevere. And I think that's what Natasha is kind of vain to the next generation. It's kind of vain to the next generation. There's so much refining work that goes into. 
in polishing to yourself to polish become a major yourself league baseball to become a major league or a professional baseball softball player. or a professional you know, softball you mean, player. You know, you, you can mean, have the greatest you can have natural the greatest skills. You can be a great natural athlete. Skills. You, can, you, can you can be a great athlete. You, know, you can be a power you know, hitter. Be a but, power hitter. You, know, you, but, you better be you able know, to. You better be able master to more than just master that more than one just thing. In that order to one thing in order be to successful. Otherwise, you're not going to be successful. You know, Otherwise, they, you're not going to. That's you know, one thing they, with the majors. You can't that's one hide thing the majors. The you can't hide. Are they find very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. They find very yeah. quickly. Yeah. You don't have yeah. a. You know, if you don't have a. Don't have a major league fastball. Don't have a major league fastball. You try to get by on your other pitches. You try to get by on your other pitches. You better. You better. You better get them outside. You better get them outside because otherwise. They're going to catch up wise. They're going to catch up to them. And then they go a long far away. Yeah. Then you need to go to the chiropractor. Yeah. Then you need to go to the chiropractor. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring up one point. I want to bring up one point. And it was something Austin talked about. And it was something Austin talked about. Expanded on it a little bit, too. Expanded on it a little bit, too. The Indians have done a good job. The Indians have done a good job. They had the RBI initiative. They had the RBI baseball That rebuilding baseball initiative. And trying to get, you know, trying to get that excitement of baseball. That excitement of baseball. To every Everybody. You know, and make sure everybody. that everybody has the opportunity, sure that everybody has the to, opportunity to, to learn to, and to, to pick it up and, 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 and to go pick it up and, and, and to go with why it. I think it's and it's so one cool that why I think it's so cool that, that what the Indians Park, have, the Major League Baseball have done with the Old League Park, Baseball, the, the, the original home of the Indians, over there on the Indians, Lexington, that over there on you know, Lexington, really has that, become kind of a showcase really has place. Kind of you know, a showcase it's a beautiful place. ballpark. You know, it's a beautiful for, for, ballpark. For, to, to, for people for, to go for, for, and, and to go learn about the game and to learn about the game and to actually sit on the, the, sit on put on there, the new play. field they put on there to play. Again, bringing baseball to every community out there. Every community out there. Because that's what's going to take it. Because that's what's going to grow as the years go. you got to stretch it out. Out there, the, and, and, out there, you know, Barbara the, and, said and best. I mean, you know, Barbara, they're trying to do it globally. They're trying to do it globally with the with the world baseball. But you're also classic. trying to do it internally. But you're also too. trying to do it yeah. internally too. In my yeah. opinion, in MLB my opinion, has done a tremendous MLB job. has done a tremendous job trying to grow the game internationally. Trying to grow they the recognize game internationally. The long they recognize that hey, this is an international game. Hey, this is an international game. People from Japan, people from the Caribbean, especially in the Dominican Republic, especially in the Dominican Republic, people from Canada, people from Canada, all over the U.S., people from some, all over the U.S., some parts of Europe. Some, some parts they of Europe. all combine they their skills to make this the game that it is. To make this the game that it is. And to recognize that. And to take literally the show on the road. The show on the road. To these countries. To these foreign countries. To help grow the game, grow help fan grow bases. the game, grow I fan think has done wonders for I think has done I wonders for and, and, and truthfully, and it's and even though I wasn't able to go, even though I wasn't to able London, to go physically to, to see London, the series, physically to see I made sure I was up on Sunday morning to watch the Yankees and the Red Sox play. I watched it. I watched it. We watched it. the first inning. Yeah, I mean, it was there was a lot. I think sixteen, thirteen, or something like that. Thirteen or something like that. It was so not. It was probably so not what Major League Baseball what Major League Baseball and, and fans expected. too. And, and, and fans I, I was too. very worried I, I was that the next day was going to be like that. The next day was going to be like one to one, three to one, or you know, three to one. People you know, just not enjoy it as much. But not enjoy it as much. Really seem to embrace it over across the pond. Really seem to embrace it over across the pond. I'm so grateful for that. So grateful for that. It is a great game. It is and a great game. People from and all over this people great from world. All over this play great world. this game. Play right. and this game to be able to and take it to different to be parts able to of the take world. It to different uh, parts especially of the world. last year, especially with Puerto last year because the Indians were involved. Not just because the Indians were involved. Indians and Frankie were involved. hit the, the Frankie magical hit the, home run. The magical Roberto home got to play. Roberto got to play as well. His home country as well. But to go to ravaged area, ravaged area, hurricanes that came through the Caribbean, came through the Caribbean months prior, just months prior, live up to your commitments, live up to your commitments to the Indians and the Twins and Major League Baseball, and to kind of kickstart, kind of kickstarting process, rebuilding just helping out, and just helping out that 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 country was country. Was, it was absolutely outstanding. outstanding. It's, it another was absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. it's another uh, example. It's another example. Yeah, you're, you're not just taking yeah, baseball. You're, to, you're not just taking Puerto Rico. You're taking Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Rico. Children of Puerto Rico. Children and again, they're getting an opportunity. And again, they're getting an opportunity. That could be me someday. I could be the next Francisco I could be the next Francisco Lindor. And it's such an important pipeline. It's such an important pipeline to make the Republic. Yo, I mean, yeah. there's no yeah. show. Yeah. I mean, there's no show that have come from those countries. From the Dominican, 
Was from uh, the David Dominican. Ortiz is going uh, into David the Hall Ortiz of Fame. Is going he, into the Hall of Fame. Know, he's he, from the Dominican. You know, he's from Pudge the Dominican. Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez. Puerto Rico. Frankie Puerto Rico. Rico. Roberto Alomar. Roberto Alomar. Sandy's from Puerto Rico. Sandy's from Puerto Rico. Sandy's from, from Puerto Rico. Rico. Sandy's Roberto's, from Puerto of course, Rico. in the Hall of Fame. Roberto's, of I mean, course, in the, the Hall of Fame. There's an exhibit. There's an exhibit. I'm glad you brought this up. There's an exhibit. In the history of the game. In the history of the game. The All-American. The All-American. Girls Professional League. Girls Professional League. There's the And then there's the Latin American. And then there's the Latin American. A whole exhibit, and they have a whole dedicated to uh, dedicated the Latin American to, uh, the players Latin American who have helped make this game who have helped what it is today, game. and what it is today. I'd be remiss and if we, I didn't I'd mention be one, one of the ultimate examples. One of the ultimate examples. Oh yeah, Roberto Clemente. I mean, he oh, was. Yeah. Yeah, he I mean, was he the was, pioneer. Yeah, he I mean, was the pioneer. Yeah, loved I mean, Puerto Rico. It was yeah, a love Puerto Rico. Rico. It was a name was so Puerto Rico. Beloved in, in was so beloved in, in, in Pittsburgh. Really was one of the first, he really was you know, one of the first Latin American you know, ball players Latin to, American to, ball players make that to make that transcend. Make that transcend. It was really trying to help to open that door. It helped to open that door. I don't never forgot where he came from. I never forgot. That was that's why they named. That was that's why they named. He was tragically we lost him. He was tragically we lost him when he was taking relief supplies to Nicaragua. Taking relief supplies to Nicaragua affected by an earthquake. Affected um, by an earthquake. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to talk to you today. We're here for about 25 more minutes. We're here for about 25 more minutes. Here at Playball Park, here at Playball Park, at the Huntington Center downtown Cleveland. All-star festivities are underway. Major League Baseball here in Cleveland. Major League Baseball here in Cleveland. Louis Tian is here. The former Yankee. Louis Tian is here. The former Yankee. Major League Baseball here in Cleveland. 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 Major He's been, I, he's been close a number of times. He's been close a number of times. But, you know, but, you know his but, journey, you know, he came his here to Cuba. He came here and, Cuba. You know, and ended up, you know, ended being, up you know, a really being good pitcher a on a really Cuba good had, pitcher on a some really bad had, Indians had, teams, some really bad Indians teams, teams in the late was 60s. Was such an important part of the Boston Red Sox getting to the World Series in 75. You know, 200, we were looking at his numbers. 200, we were looking at his numbers. 2,400 strikeouts. 2,400 strikeouts. I really hope under I really hope really uh, under yes. three and a half ERA. Really yes. hope that it, at, at really some point that that, uh, at some that point he gets that, the call. Uh, yes. that he gets the call. Yes. Yes. It'd be a well deserved. Yes. It'd be a well deserved call, call if it come. If it, 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 it would be, it would be uh, something very special. Not something very for special, the Indians, but also for the Indians, for Louis and his family. For Louis, yeah, Louis is 79 family. years old. Yeah, Louis is 70 still. still old. God bless him. Yeah, still. still God bless him. Yeah, he's still signing autographs, yo, and signing and doing appearances, and, 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 doing and appearances being part of the, and, and the family of baseball. The, the family and, and, of yeah, baseball. He represents and, and, Cuba. Yeah, he represents and, and, Cuba. And, and, you know, a place where, and, 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 you know, a place where we haven't you know, been able to get a lot of we haven't been able to get a lot of because of baseball players because of what happened between 1960 years ago was a communist shutdown. But the communist shutdown. But that have made it. That have made it. Have made it. Have an made impressive impact. The impressive Hernandez brothers, I, certainly. The Hernandez brothers, I, I, certainly. There, there's no shortage there, of guys. There's I, remember no shortage when MLB went back I remember when MLB to went Cuba. Back to Cuba. Uh, it was a few years uh, ago now. It was a few years that ago they now. Played and that they it was played. The first time it was the first time that a native of Cuba that a native was playing for an MLB was team. Playing and yes. an MLB to see him team embrace his family at the airport. Uh, political uh, unrest political was a huge unrest overtone, was a obviously, huge overtone, of that trip. Obviously but of to that see, trip. But that to see, moment. It was that so special. Moment. It was and so special. They have met and so they much. Have baseball has so meant a lot. To baseball has meant a lot to the island of Cuba. Cuba has but meant so much. Cuba has meant so much. And much it, we're a richer and game. And we're a, and we're a better game, game. And we're a better game now today. Now because today, of their influence. Because yeah, of their if you ever watch, you know, uh, if you ever watch Burns documentary uh, baseball, Burns documentary uh, baseball. You know, there's story that you know in the off season. You know, in the off season. You know, when the Negro leagues go to the Negro leagues, Satchel Page. Go to the off and a, and a lot of the all stars and a lot of all stars 30s maybe even talking in the, the 30s, 40s maybe even the, they would go to cuba they would go to cuba and play they would be hired basically you know, they would be hired like, basically you know, cuban by teams like, to go play you know, cuban teams uh, to go uh, play for a team uh, there for, for a time for a you know, team you know, there for a time you know, is there you know, kind of their off you know how you know that how influence of the that way influence that a lot of times they played in Latin America. America. They played in you know, Latin America. They picked it up. You know they, they brought picked it, it up. Their ball. They brought they it brought into, into their ball. the major leagues. They brought it into yeah. the major and leagues. The, the, yeah. thing, that I, I really the, the thing that I really love. The thing that I really love about not, not just not, Cuban not just Cuban-born players, but Cuban Latin players, Latin American players in general. Latin American players in general. They have they the have most passion for the game. The most passion for the game. They love. 
every they single love moment they're on the diet. Every single moment it's they're on so the diet. infectious and it's, it's so, so infectious and it's uh, so refreshing. You and I have both. They feel like it's you and I have both. They feel like it's their national sport. It is. It's their national sport. It is. It's their national sport. It's like they feel like they invented the game. They feel like they invented the game. They feel like they invented the game. Because their style of play, their style of play, they did. In two sense. You look at some of the players. You look at some of the players who have come from Latin America. Come from Latin America, who have made Dave Concepcion. Dave was a fantastic was a fantastic for the big red infielder for the big red machine. Uh, and then uh, uh, you look then, at some uh, of the other guys who have come some of the other guys who have come through the pipeline here, that bo- we locally had, here we had well, really three had, members of the well, Alomar really three members of the Alomar uh, and then we had uh, Omar Vizquel uh, from Venezuela from Venezuela the example the example of a guy who grew up None of this modern technology. None of this modern it's like technology. A milk carton for a it's like a milk carton and for a glove. And he turned into be. And he turned into be. You can say arguably because you can say arguably because obviously because obviously in the conversation. Is obviously but arguably the, the greatest defensive shortstop the game has ever seen. But the greatest defensive shortstop yes. the game has ever seen. Yes. He and always played with a passion. He always played, played with a passion. Smile on his face. He always played with a smile on his face. And that's about what I love. Like about guys like Frankie Lindor, like guys they, like they Frankie just Lindor, play the they, game. They just play the game with so much passion. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's special. I and hope Louis Tiant getting back to the original Tiant point. Getting back to the is original point, yeah. is fortunate enough to get that fortunate call. Fortunate enough to get that Cooper's call down because he Cooper's deserves. down. Yeah, he does. Because he, he does. Yeah, he uh, does. He's he here. does. I, I think Raleigh here. Fingers. I, I think Raleigh Hall of Famers is here. Hall of Famers is, is here. There are going to be so many more. There are going to be former Indians there. Going to be former Indians around here this weekend. Around Kenny Lofton's back. No, Kenny Lofton's back. Is is coming back. Jared Wright is you know coming back. I got to tell you. You know, I mean, I got to tell you. 1997. 1997. The I mean, fall of like Jared Wright. the fall the of Jared Wright. Jared Wright. The, the autumn of Jared Wright. Wright. The autumn of Jared Wright. He was amazing. I mean, he was amazing. He was amazing. He was amazing. That, amazing. Fall. that those that those fall. That that three those, those, I think he was called up in like July. I think he was called up in July. July. And July. The run he had. The run he had. You know, the Indians had, were making their you know, push. The Indians were making their push. He's pretty unbelievable. He's pretty unbelievable. Game seven. Game and was a guy who was a mid-season call-up. He was a mid-season call-up. He was a mid-season call-up. He was a mid-season call-up. The winning pitcher. Would have been had they held the lead. Had they held the lead. And all likelihood, could make a case for him. Either he or Chad O.J. Either he or Chad O.J. would have been. Yeah, because O.J. won. The O.J. won. Yeah, because O.J. won. O.J. won. O.J. won. O.J. won. O.J. won. Well, I don't know. I wish I don't know if Chad's going to be here this weekend. I don't know if Chad's going to be here this weekend. I mean, there could be a bunch of Indians. There could be a bunch of Indians. From that era, they're going to be around. From that era, they're going to be around. As well as Hall of Famers. As well as Hall of Famers. You know, they all come back together. They all come back together. They all all star together. And then we're all star. We can then see, you know, at the all star game. And you the see the legends. You see the legends. Before the actual the game. That's the one actual thing. Game. I, I always. I think that's Major one thing. I, I always. Does. I think Major League Baseball so does. Well. They, they so they well. Keep, they, they, the they, keep the the they keep the legends. They keep the alumni. They keep the alumni. And, and that goes with the Indians, and, and that goes with the Indians. Level, but on a local level, major league but on a, a major league baseball, you, know, you have the All Star games, games, and you have the All Star games, the All Century team, the All Century team, that they, 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 like that. they had them all like back that. together, bring on them all field. back together. I would think on Major League field. Baseball does such a great job. I would think Major League Baseball does such a great job of that. You can't look back at the All Star game in '99, All Star game in '99, and see Ted Williams driving in on the golf cart and not get chills, and not get chills. He is Red Sox baseball. He is Red Sox baseball, and to see. And to the see way that MLB, the way that MLB its history, is nice. Its history and is you can, nice. Maybe and knock them for not, maybe knock them for not being the most promoting, star promoting. Yeah, league. And, more and, of a team promoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More and, of a and, team I, and I would, and I would, and I would, and fans of Francisco Lindor, you know, fans of Francisco can probably, Lindor can engage probably in that debate in that argument because I think they would probably in that argument say, hey, look, probably they say, hey, they said, they said they love Frankie. They said they love Frankie. Pushing him more. And they pushing him more. And have that argument. And the best part about Frankie is he is bilingual. He speaks Spanish fluently. He speaks Spanish fluently. He can grow the game in so many places. He can grow the game in so many places because of his adaptability. Because of his adaptability. Back to your point. Back to your point. When uh, players when retire. Players, former retire, players, become former teams, players. Do teams, a great job to honor them. Do a great but job MLB to honor does them. A great job but MLB well. does a great job as well. Look at and what Heritage look Park at has become. What Heritage the Park has become. Last time the All-Star game was here in '97. There was no Heritage Park. There, no there was no, there was no, no monument to the great Indians. There was no Indians monument to the great Indians of Now you can't walk into the center field. Now you can't walk into the center field. Progressive field. And not be surrounded by Indian tissue. And not be surrounded by Indian tissue. There's three really big statues. There's three really big statues. And there's also home plate-sized plaques. Home plate-sized plaques. 
commemorating moments in Indians history. Moments in then you get history. into the ballpark. Then you go get into the ballpark. ballpark and just go to Harris wow. Park. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's wow. an example. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's and, an and example. Monument Park in New York and, and is another Park example. New York is of another example. Of teams and places teams that get in places yeah, and they that want get, to embrace yeah, their and history they want because to they embrace know their history there's a lot of nostalgia for there's a lot of nostalgia for those, those players teams, and, and they were special to an entire they generation were special of fans. to an entire generation of fans MLB and, and the Indians have always, and always and done Indians. a great job and and always so, done a great and, and job more so um, and I like for the Browns for example like for the Browns for example they had their they had kind of they had around trying to have a ring of honor and trying to have a ring of honor and a legends club figure out kind of the right way to honor the right way to honor the Cohesive way, way to do it for a long time. Major League Baseball and the Major League Indians, Baseball in, in particular, have never really had that issue. Have right. never really had that problem. Right. No, they've never it, had that problem. That's no, refreshing. It, it, that's it, it, refreshing. That's it, it, refreshing, it, it, that's it, it, refreshing there have been so many memorable there have been so many memorable players in the history. Yes, I know there were lean years. Yes, I know there were lean years in '94 and '95. But there's still were fantastic. There's Rocky Calabito. Rocky Calabito deserves to be Louis Tian. Sut Sam Louis Sam McDowell, Gaylord, Gaylord Sam Perry, McDowell, all those, Gaylord Perry, Lenny Barger for his birthday, Lenny Barger, for his you know, Lenny Barger, Andre Thornton, you know, who was here Andre earlier. Thornton, I mean, who was here those, earlier. I mean, those, they're deserving of our respect. They're deserving of our respect and attention and our appreciation for what they have done for what they have done the game. You know, the Indians have never, you know, the Indians have never those forgot contributions. Those it's not contributions. It's, it's, it's very not, easy for us. I mean, we got Carlos very easy Baerga up here. We have Carlos I mean, Baerga up talk, here. We could have spent I mean, two, two hours talking to Carlos about the 1995 the, team, the, the, the his time with the Indians, his time with the Indians, because that was a special moment. It was a moment in time that will never be duplicated quite like that. Unless, of course, Unless of course a team may win a championship, but that ninety-five championship, but that ninety-five team was different. It was in a new ballpark. It was in a new ballpark. So many things came together. So many things came together. They were a special. They were a special. They were a special because they had a lot of success. They had a lot of success. They had they were assessed because they had the success. Like you could look at it just as easily. You could look at it just as easily. Say one impacted the other. Say one impacted the other. That team. That team reinvigorated, reinvigorated baseball, baseball, in, this baseball town. in this town. And it, it got an and entire it generation got of fans. Entire generation like, of fans. My parents' like, age, my parents' and, and age, your parents' age, who and, hadn't and your seen, parents' age, who hadn't seen a lot of success in their lifetime. A lot of success in their no lifetime. Success in their lifetime. No success in their lifetime. Uh, and they they uh, stood up and, and cheered. They, they was stood like, up yeah. and cheered. Uh, I can look like back yeah. on the '95 back ALDS. On the 95 and ALDS. And ironically and enough, I was in ironically the right enough, field stands the right with field my grandfather, my dad, with my grandfather, and my, aunt, my dad, and, and my aunt. Carlos Baerga. And Carlos hit a Baerga foul ball. hit that a foul ball. I mean, we were just I mean, to the left, just to the left. And that thing was literally coming right for us. Literally coming right for us. We didn't end up catching it, but I can remember that vividly. I can remember that generation, just the generation moment of enjoying that moment. Park, of being in that know, ball yeah, for you know yeah. a yeah. monumental moment. They, they, they were playing Boston. They, yeah. they were you playing know, very Boston, historic you know, franchise. Very historic franchise. A series they ended up sweeping. Ended up sweeping. Uh, they they had a memorable sweeping. run all the way. Uh, had a memorable series. run all the way to the World Series. We were fortunate. We were fortunate. You, you, and, I be you and I growing up, be in growing this business up, and growing up business life, growing up just during that time. Yeah. During because that time, we got yeah. to appreciate what we got to Indians appreciate what good yeah. Indians. And it, it was, yeah. it was and amazing. It was, and that's why we, it was you know, amazing. And that's why we, you know, when, when, when people of our age, when people, when people of our age, yeah, people of our age, yeah, 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 about it because it was a special time. Because it was a special time. And you know, for people who are coming of age now, people who are coming of age now, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, having four years championship caliber basketball, including a world championship, a world championship, they've come of uh, with the they Cleveland come Indians, of age making the, the playoffs, Indians, in 16, making the playoffs 17 in 16, 17 and 18, and and getting to within and an eyelash of winning the World Series in 2016. Uh, it, they're going to have their own memories. It, they're going to have their gonna own memories. They're going to be special, as the, gonna be go special as the years um, go by. It's going to be hard to top 95. It's going to be hard to top 95. It's kind of the benchmark, I think, now. It's kind of the benchmark, I think, now. When people say, boy, what was the best time to be a Cleveland sports fan? Best time to be a Cleveland sports fan. Besides well, winning the championship, people, besides winning you know, the championship, a lot of fans people, will say, you know, a lot of nothing fans like say, 1995. Nothing like 1995. There is one thing that could there top it. There is one thing that could top it. And I've talked to one of and our I've good friends at work, Tyler Carey, about this. I've talked to my uncles about this. I've talked to my uncles about this. They would trade 
they every, would trade every sports every, success that this town has had to see an Indians World Series in their lifetime. And, and, yes. and, yes. and I know there is a legion I know there is a legion that feel the exact same way. That feel the exact same way. Yep. That and would be what would top that the 95. That would be what would top the 95 if yes. Indians. This if team gets over the hump. This team gets over the hump. Breaks that 70-plus breaks that that year, year drought. Plus year drought, plus year drought of World Series. Of World of, Series. Of World Series championship of, drought. Of World Series championship drought. Of, that would be that the would team be that is forever remembered. That is forever in remembered yeah. in it's this seven, town. It's been yeah. 71 it's seven, years this year. 71 years uh, this year. Well, look, it's not going to get well, to 72. They're it's not going to get to the second That's right. We're going to have a season that's right. to remember. That's right. Listen, listen, listen. Last time the All-Star hey, listen, game, last time the All -Star was, was in Cleveland. Game, they went to the World Series. 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 It was a heck of a run. It was a heck of a run. It was a heck of a run. We'll see. Okay. Sure, it can. It can. Sure, it can. Will it? It can. Will it? All right, that's going to do it for right. us here. That's going to do uh, it for, for us this here, afternoon uh, session for this here at Playball Park. Here at we'll Playball have more Park. coming up here. We'll as have the days more coming up here. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and of course, Tuesday. a ton of and coverage at WKYC.com. We'll have pictures. We'll have videos. Concerts. Videos. Concerts. We'll have videos. Concerts. Concerts. Videos. Yes. Concerts. 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 Uh, concert, wrap ups. Uh, yes, I wrap ups. will uh, yes. be going to Twenty One Pilots. Uh, be going to Twenty One Pilots and have a wrap up there and have a uh, wrap up there. Us on uh, social media. Us on uh, social media. At WKYC three uh, on Instagram. At WKYC on Twitter. WKYC on Twitter. Use the hashtag Use the hashtag three all stars. And that'll get you to all of our coverage too. And that'll get you to all of our coverage too. You can't make it to the concert tonight. Can't make it to the concert tonight. Can't make it to Playball Park. Can't make it to Playball Park. We'll be here. We'll carry you through the weekend. We'll carry you through the weekend. What is a, a memorable for this town, moment for this uh, town. not only in sports but just in Cleveland history in general, to be, able to, in general. to be able to host this All Star game, be able to host this All Star game, see and the starters of the game, the starters of the game, the city, yeah. embrace so the city. It's pretty special. Yeah. It's pretty special. It's pretty special. Yeah. It's very special. Yeah. yeah. Are very special. Cleveland. You've done, are, are, you've, you've done great again. You've done, right. you've done great again. That'll do it again. for us here right. this afternoon. That'll do it for us here for this afternoon. Our man Brian Crane. Our man Brian Crane. And for Geo. And for Geo. Matt Florjancic, I'm Dave Dinatelli. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching here on WKYC.com, on Facebook Live, and on YouTube. So long, everyone.